Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I take pictures of them, list them on eBay and Poshmark, and hopefully sell them for a profit. The last two days have been really slow, and so I only have three items that I'm sending out today. It's Saturday, March 9th, so these are the things that sold Thursday and Friday. Three items. Gross sales amount of $75.55. It has been slow and um, the beginning of the week was great. I had a couple really good uh, days in a row and I really felt like I was excited. <laughs> Things were on the upswing finally for me um, because January and February were really low and I'm trying to actually do more in my business. Um, so it was disappointing and now that these last two days have been been lower I'm back in the like disappointment so I'm trying to keep a positive attitude and realize that you know sometimes sales just tank I don't know uh, I, I've seen so many polls and so many videos about like you know is eBay glitching is uh, is it because of the economy is it because of you know you me the, the seller uh, is it because of uh, I feel like there's another one um, oh, the like just competition because of whatnot and posh lives and all that stuff. And I think the reality is it's probably a combination of all of those. And just the fact of uh, reselling is a roller coaster. There are some really good days and there are some not so good days. So I've done videos before on things that, you know, I do when sales are slow. Um, but the most important one for me is to just keep a positive attitude to not compare myself to others and to just keep going. I guess that's like three things, but <laughs> to me, it's kind of all in the same kind of umbrella of being content with what I'm doing, working hard, um, but not stressing about it. Now I do, this is part-time for me. It is extra money for my family. So I, I'm not worried about paying bills. I realize that I have that privilege um, in this space. So. I don't know, all that to say, here's what I sold. <laughs> that was a very long intro. Um, me babbling, that seems to be a common theme. These are linen pants, Cynthia Rowley. Uh, that's a brand I will only buy if it is 100% linen. And these are like cropped, wide leg, oatmeal color. I mean, if these aren't like the perfect linen pants, I don't know what are. <laughs> I. Uh, myself am a big uh, fan of linen pants here in about a month I will start pretty much only wearing linen and it makes me so happy uh, yeah I get uh, very very happy when it's linen season so anyway Cynthia Rowley's linen pants have an average sale price of $15.71 so I mean not a huge sale price, obviously. 18% is the sell-through rate, and I sold mine for $15 plus shipping. The buyer paid a total of $21.80. They took five days to sell. Um, I only listed them five days ago, but I've had these for a while. I'm still, I still have a few things left from the last binge trip, the Goodwill outlet uh, that I took in February. So I did have that um, haul. Um, there's something going on with my hair here that's bothering me. Um, anyway, I do have that haul, uh, as a video. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. It's probably like the world's longest bins haul. I don't know. Is there a world record for that? Um, sold in five days. I paid about $2 for it at the bins where you pay by the pound. My profit is $11.30. The next is this J. Crew shirt. So it is just a plaid J. Crew button up. Um, it does say Madras shirts tailored by J. Crew. And it's 100% cotton. Um, this also, no, this was listed for about five months. So Madras J. Crew uh, shirts have an average sale price of. $14.24. Again, not a whole lot of money. 14% uh, sell-through rate. So none of those are good, really. 
Um, <laughs> mine sold for $15 again, um, plus shipping. It was interesting because I got a message and I'm pretty sure it's the same person that bought it. They were like, they sent me a message. I had it listed for 25 plus shipping, um, which I realize is probably why it took so long to sell. Um, but she was like, would you send it 20, 22 shipped? And I was like, I can't quite go that low. I could do, I don't remember what I said. I think I said I could do 15 plus shipping. And um, <clears throat> I, she sent me, I, I don't know why I assume it's a she. The person sent me a um, an offer for $10 plus shipping. And I just countered with 15 plus shipping. But then they picked, because uh, I have it as a choice now for um, priority and ground advantage and they picked priority mail. So I don't know, I mean, I'm not on their end, so I can't see what the options are. Maybe priority and ground advantage were similar in price for them, but where they live, I don't think that it would be. So I'm not really sure. Maybe they didn't see that it was an option. Anyway, they paid 25.75, which is not that much more than 22. Um, I paid $3 at a garage sale. My profit is $10.16. Not great, but here we are. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm setting it priority in a Tyvek mailer. I don't really love the Tyvek mailers. I don't think their adhesive is that great. So I put these like priority stickers on it to help bump it up. This is the best sale of the day, but profit wasn't great because I spent too much on it. This, I think also, did I do a haul on this? I don't think I did. Um, the day that I went to the bins, I always, I shouldn't say always, most of the time when I go to the bins, I have to drive like an hour and a half. So I stay in that area after the bins close and I hit up Goodwills and Salvation Armies that are still open. I paid $8. This is a swim dress. Um, it's like an excellent condition and it is the brand Land's End, which has really good swimwear if you ask me. Um, but yeah, how, how fun is that? Um, super like kind of has a like vintage -y retro look to it I think um anyway lands in swim dresses have an average sale price of 25.38 and a 22 percent sell through right this sold on Poshmark for 28 dollars and then uh Poshmark takes care of shipping it was an offer sent to me I think I had it listed for 35 um, it was an offer that was sent to me, so I didn't have to pay a shipping discount. I need to order some more of these guys. Um, yeah, anyway, I paid $8 at a Salvation Army in a bigger town, the best city. Um, my profit's $14.40, so what, not terrible, but not also not great. My total profit was $35.86. I realized that... You know, that's obviously like half of what I want to make in one day, let alone two. Um, but I know that there are so many families that 30 extra dollars would be incredibly meaningful. It's honestly, it's good for us, 30 extra dollars, 35 extra dollars. I will absolutely take that and be grateful and um, happy about it. So would I like my sales to go back up? Absolutely, 100%. Um, but right now I'm going to choose to just continue doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna go list right now. I'm gonna take pictures later on today. Um, yeah, do the things that, you know, keep keep me consistent in my business and I probably will stay off YouTube. <laughs> uh, just so that I don't uh, compare myself to others, uh, which is really, really easy for me to do. To fall into that comparison trap and then find discontentment in that. Um, if you've seen me before, if you've been on my channel at all, contentment is um, a really important thing for me and I chat about it um, probably not as much as I should or probably not as much as I want to, but probably more than you want me to. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. So let me know. Are your sales up? Are they down? Do you have thoughts on why they're up or down? Um, I would love to hear if you're a reseller. If you're not, leave me an emoji or like a little, I don't know, say hi.
tell me how you're doing. I um, love chatting in the comments. That's one of my favorite parts. So make sure you like the video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I do upload ship with me, ship with me videos almost every day, hopefully every day, if I have something to ship every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's all for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.